Hey, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work through Pro Tools. Pro Tools is audio engineering software, and um, it worked, you know, great on my Surface tablet. And then, of course, I needed a larger screen for Pro Tools since it has lots and lots of columns to it. So um, I went out and bought a larger, much larger screen. And then it worked fine the first couple of times bringing Pro Tools up on the much wider screen. And then it kind of ran into an issue with screen resolutions and I was trying different screen resolutions and that wasn't getting any better because Pro Tools was just became incredibly small on the monitor and uh, wasn't going to be useful in that way. In fact, it would have been easier just to go back and use the Surface tablet. So um, I thought it's got to be a fix for this. So everybody I'm sure is using a wider screen when they're working with Pro Tools. So after a lot of research, I finally figured out what to do to fix this problem. So um, since it was kind of hard to find the solution, I thought I'd make a little short video on how to fix this. So here we go. Um, I've got Pro Tools already launched and I, it's fixed now and I'm not going to unfix it to show you where it was. But if you have this problem, you'll know it's like everything's super tiny and you can't make it big enough to see on a much wider screen. So this is what I have now and I obviously have a sound recorded there. and. Um, Everything's normal now. We're back to good, basically, you know. Um, you may notice that I've got a couple of inches on each side of this monitor. That's not being used, and that's okay because the Surface tablet can't go up to the max of, um, of what this actual uh, monitor can do. And I'm okay with that. Um, but the, like I said, the Surface tablet is working as my hard drive right now, and it does a fantastic job, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Now, to fix what I needed to do to make the screen look more like this and not some tiny, tiny little version that you can't work with, I had to actually um, just come out of Pro Tools totally. Let's just save that. And get out of both screens and then go back to where it sets on my desktop. And it notice it sets right here on my desktop. And that's where I had to go to fix things. So, um, on the icon that's on your desktop, just right click. You're going to go to properties. And on your little tabs up here under Pro Tools Properties, you're going to find Compatibility tab. The Compatibility tab is there. Click on that and you can skip uh, across this top stuff and you get down here to where it says Change High DPI Settings. You need to click on that and um, in the bottom part of this new screen, High DPI Scaling Override, you want to check that where it says override high DPI scaling behavior and then scaling performed by and you have some options there so click on the little menu because it'll be the default will be application but you want it to say system and then just click OK you'll next see the screen that was behind it and you want to select apply OK and then when you launch back into um, Pro Tools it won't be tiny anymore. It'll be the size that you intended for it to be. And if you have a full scale um, hard drive and not a Surface tablet, uh, it will probably, you know, you can set it the resolutions to uh, go to whatever is recommended and it will nicely fill out your new widescreen. And I'll show you my screen resolutions in just a second. And I'll just open one of my files up. And there you have it. Just move my little portable bar around up there. And so, you know, this way I can see most everything. Um, I can um, go and see the other wider things I need on there as well. Now, let me talk about screen resolutions for just a minute. And let me um, go to um, display. But let me see if I can get it up this way. All right. So when you go to settings and you want to change your display and your in-screen resolution part, um, there's display. If you want to just click on that to go in the other way. Currently, you know, because I have a Surface tablet, the, the best I can do on this is 200%, which is the recommended setting there. 
and the resolution is 2736 by 1824 recommended, okay, in both settings, okay. I, even though my monitor can go wider than that, I think it's way up in the 3000 range, um, that's as high as it's going to let me do it, basically, on the Surface tablet. So, and I'm good for that. I'm good with that. So that's not a problem. And that's pretty much all you have to do to get Pro Tools back like you, you know, need it to be, just on a much wider screen and take advantage of your, of your new monitor. All right, great. I hope this video helps some of you out there trying, that's been wrestling with this issue. Thanks for your time.